beautiful people welcome to another exciting episode on Nebo TV my name is Agbaje Onome stay with us on today's show because we are going to be talking about South African countries who are suffering from droughts so stay tuned From late 2018 until March 2020, several countries in Southern Africa were affected by severe drought due to below average or erratic rainfalls and extreme temperatures. Resulting reductions in crop and livestock production led to food insecurity and exacerbated health vulnerabilities, malnutrition and protection issues. More than 18 million people were affected in Angola, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Nambia, Zambia and Zimbabwe. Lesotho declared a new drought emergency in October 2019, while national drought emergencies in Mozambique and Nambia were extended to March 2020. In response, between January 2019 and March 2020, CEROF allocated some 69.3 million US dollars through CEROF's rapid response window, targeting a total of more than 3.7 million people in the seven countries. Funds enable partners to provide life-saving assistance covering urgent water, sanitation, food, agriculture, health, nutrition, protection and education needs. Zimbabwe is one of the countries in South Africa that is affected by drought and it is affecting the families in Zimbabwe and their land, their crops, their livestock and all. This is on top of the issue they are presently facing as a result of rampant inflation and economic shrinking. So stay with us as we go briefly into Zimbabwe's drought. With attention reverted on the unrest in Zimbabwe cities, a slow motion catastrophe is unfolding in its countryside. There, an estimated 4 million people face hunger in the wake of Southern Africa's worst drought in more than three decades. If the situation is not urgently addressed, aid groups warn that rural communities could lose years of hard-won development gains. None of these things, droughts, economic emergencies, political unrest are new to Zimbabwe. A strong drought in 1992 killed more than a million cattle and forced Zimbabwe, then a net food exporter, to import grain and chronic hunger and poverty continue to afflict rural communities. In 2007, a hyperinflation crisis forced the government to abandon the local currency in favor of the US dollar and South African rand. Over the past decade, international security institutions have hypothesized that extreme droughts and flood wrought by climate change will act as a threat multiplier that can destabilize countries. In Zimbabwe, it is clear that reality is much more nuanced. Droughts did not cause the unrest, rather it has unmasked existing weaknesses in the government's ability to build strong economy that can withstand shock like drought and to help those in need with such shock. The depth of Zimbabwe's food emergency is hard to understate. Estimates indicated that as many as 4 million people will need food assistance. The figure represents nearly half of Zimbabwe's rural population and is more than six times the level seen over the years. Having talked about Zimbabwe's history of drought, we are going to look at how it has affected them in this present day 2020 and what the government is actually doing about it as well as the United Nations. So stay with us. Zimbabwe is facing back-to-back -back drought, which is crippling its corn production, leading the country to possible food shortage. The country only has 100,000 tons of grain in its strategic reserves. The grain reserves can store up to 500,000 tons, but has been negatively impacted by poor harvest. On January 22, 2020, the Grain Millers Association of Zimbabwe acquired 100,000 of maize from South Africa and Brazil. The announcement comes after the government of Zimbabwe made the decision in December 2019 to allow millers and other groups to use free funds to import maize. According to the United Nations World Food Programme, in 2020, more than 7.7 .7 million people, half the population, will face food insecurity at the peak of the lean season, as poor rain and erratic weather patterns have a negative impact on crop harvest and livelihood prospects. The World Food Programme noted that lack of access to markets and the rural Zimbabwe's dependency on red-fed agriculture also is affecting the country's food security. 
the finance minister Motley Sube said Zimbabwe should assist farmers with irrigation infrastructure to circumvent drought issues and it needs to import at least 800,000 tons of maize this year to help with the dwindling grain reserves. Alright viewers, we've come to the end of today's episode, hope you enjoyed it and we hope that Zimbabwe gets more support from the United Nations and its government. So see you next time, same channel, Nebo TV. I love you, God bless you.